The summer is here, so it's the sun. And it was only natural I have decided to prepare a video where I will tell you everything you should know about sun protection. So if you want to enjoy the summer to the fullest without the fear of damaging your skin, then keep watching. Hello everyone, it's Joanna Bojarska, the beauty expert. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new here, welcome to my world of beauty where I share with you all my beauty tips, advice in your professional and home skincare, as well as showing you my professional treatments. And in today's video we will talk about sun protection. Why is it so important? Which SPF to choose? How and when to apply them? And what are my recommendations in regards to the sun protection products? I will cover it all in this video. But if you need a bit more in-depth information about SPFs and others, I have prepared a separate article on my beauty blog, which you will find on my website www.joannabojarska.com and I will leave you the link to this blog post in the description box below this video so you can have a look if you are interested. Right, so we all know by now that we should protect our skin all year long. But somehow this subject becomes particularly popular around this time of the year when the sun is shining and we are spending more time outdoors. And this is totally understandable, but I always want you to remember about sun protection all year long. Okay, so why SPF products are so important in our day-to-day -day skincare? Well, sun together with red light and blue light, which is emitted from electronic devices like our smartphones, tablets, TVs, they all can cause photo damage. And photo damage can cause skin dehydration, premature aging, fine lines and wrinkles, uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, melasma, and what's the most dangerous, skin cancer. So it is very, very important to protect our skin. Okay, but your not next question would probably be which, pro which sun protection to choose. A few years back, I wouldn't have a problem with picking one or two SPFs for your face, as simply there weren't that many to choose from. But since the last few years, the sec this sector of the beauty industry has grown enormously. These days, I would say that nearly every brand has a few different sun protection products um, to choose from when um, with between their range. Um, then we also have to the aspect of choosing between chemicals and mineral SPFs. Um, I would say they both really good. I use them both on the daily basis and really these days you can have a perfect light formula even in the mineral SPFs. Uh, today I will also show you uh, some hybrids um, of the sun protection products um, where you will find a mixture of chemical and mineral SPFs. And again if you would would like to see the list of good chemical SPFs and read a bit more about the differences between chemical and mineral SPFs, you will find it all uh, on my beauty blog. So in theory, the best sun protection product for our face and neck would be the broad spectrum SPF 50 with PA4 pluses, blue light, light protection and IR protection in form of the potent antioxidants. The next thing I would like to talk about today will be how and when to apply SPF products. Sun protection should become the finishing step of every skincare, no matter what skin type or age you are. And when it comes to SPFs, we can't just lightly smudge the product on our face and then expect it to protect us all day. Two fingers measured become, became very popular recently and this is when we are applying two stripes of the product on our fingers and it can be helpful but also sometimes misleading. But since um, SPFs are so popular, most of the brands have their own article or a little demo videos where you can see exactly how to apply the certain filter. The main rule is it has to be quite a decent layer. And just to make it easier, I will show you myself how I do apply sun protection products, but that will be in the second. First, let's talk about top-ups during the day. So most of the producers recommend reapplying their SPFs every two hours but sometimes it's simply difficult, especially when we wear full face of makeup. And that is where loads of companies came up with the solutions and they have SPFs in sprays, powder compacts, or even sticks. 
So there is no excuse. So what I do personally when it comes to my sun protection, I am following my standard skincare. So cleansing, toner, serum, and then I would either skip the moisturizer or apply a thin layer of it, depends on what kind of SPF I am using. As some of the formulas are a little bit more creamy and they have um, skincare ingredients in them and some of them are very light, so I can apply my usual moisturizer underneath. And then after that, I will wait about 20 minutes uh, before I would apply my makeup. So it all has a chance to settle and absorb. And now one very, very important thing. Uh, SPFs do not sum up. So if, for example, I would apply SPF 30 on my skin and then I'm using a foundation with SPF 15, it doesn't mean I have used uh, SPF 45. The foundation will give me some extra protection, which is always great, but it won't make my base SPF stronger. I hope that makes sense. And then very often my customers will ask me as well, uh, if they are using foundation with, with let's say, SPF 30, would, will that be enough? And my answer will always be no, it won't. As in order for this filter to actually protect your skin, you would have to apply a very thick layer of this foundations, foundation. So foundations with SPFs uh, are a bonus, but we shouldn't treat them as our base sun protection product. We, have, we should have something separate. Okay, so now let me show you my SPFs, which I'm currently using on the daily basis. Plus, I will also show you a few pictures of the products, which I would also recommend. So firstly, the SPFs, which you could probably see on my channel multiple times, Dermaquest Sheer Zinc SPF 30. And this is a mineral SPF and it's UVA, UVB and infrared rays protection, as well as blue light protection. And this product uh, you will get in three different shades in the tinted version as well as in the transparent version. So sheer zinc will not only protect you, but it has the most amazing formula ever. It's very light, it sinks into the skin almost immediately and it's great underneath the makeup. So it will be a great option for people with mixed or oily skin like mine. The next product is my recent discovery. As I was testing quite a few products with SPF during the last lockdown and I came across Norel Dr. Village. And now this brand is available at my beauty studio, including this amazing SPF, Norel Dr. Village Face Cream UV Protection SPF 50. And it's a fragrance-free formula with UVA and UVB filters. Again, it has a very nice light consistency. It doesn't leave that white cast on the skin or a greasy film. And and in addition to the photostable and transparent filters, it has been enriched with Sunboost um, ATBTM, uh, which is a unique mixture of bisabolol, vitamin E and argan oil, which strengthen the effects of filters. It protects against photoaging, regenerates and soothes irritation. And this, um, in this pro uh, product, for example, um, you will find the mixture of both chemical and mineral SPF, so it's like SPF hybrid. And then if you are on a budget and looking for some more affordable option um, uh, when it comes to the SPF, this Polish brand Jaya SPF 50 is a good alternative. It won't have as light and pleasant formula as those two previous ones, but it will, uh, it does the job uh, and it protects the skin. And now I will insert a few photos of the sun protection products, which I think are equally great and worth trying. So we have here SVR, Eucerin or Eucerin, uh, La Roche-Posay, Claude Lee, ultrasound and Elizabeth Arden. And now some products to use as a top-ups as we have to top up our SPF 
during the day. And here on the screen, you can see a few examples of this kind of products in sticks, in pressed powder form or in the spray. So you can see SVR, stick, Avena and pressed SPF and then Garnier spray. I must say I personally like sprays as they are the most convenient and easy to use whenever I need a top up during the day. And the two which I'm using at the moment will be I think my third can of the Kate Somerville SPF 50 Uncomplicated Soft Focus Makeup Setting Spray. It has a very light formula, it uh, protects the skin really nicely and it smells really pleasant as well. So I think it's a product which is worth trying. And my la latest um, discovery, La Roche Posay Atelier's SPF 50 Anti-Shine Invisible Fresh Mist. And I really like this product as well. It nicely protects my skin again. My skin doesn't get shiny, so I would definitely recommend it. But I know it's out of stock in most of the places. But the Garnier spray is very similar. So if you can't find this one, get the Garnier one instead. And on top of all that protection, I would also recommend wearing sunglasses, hats with the white with a white brim, and maybe get yourself a protective lip balm with SPF and maybe do not expose yourself to the direct sun when it's not necessary, but I know sometimes it's difficult to avoid. Right, so this would be the basics when it comes to the sun protection subject. I hope this video helped you to understand the whole world of SPF a bit better. And as usual, if you have any further questions in regards to sun, sun protection or any other certain products, please leave them in the comment section below or contact me directly and all my contact details you will be able to find in the description box below this video and you will also find there all the links to the mentioned products. Thank you very much for joining me today. I wish you all a beautiful, sunny and most importantly safe summer season and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!